Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I will show you step by step how to install WordPress on Google Cloud Platform and the advantage of this um, using Google Cloud Platform for hosting your WordPress website is um, first the main advantage is it is hosted on Google uh, Data Center so you can be assured that the, the service quality will be top notch and the downtime will be very um, very less almost nil so um, it's a Google product so um, you, know, you can trust them that your website will all mostly be up and um, quite fast so and uh, this is specifically good for small website owners who have who do not have a lot of traffic or if you have a hobby kind of site you can even take advantage of the Google Cloud free service and host your website for free but that's um, really for small website very small website which um, do not receive a lot of traffic so um, and if you have never signed up for Google Cloud platform you will get a free credit uh, depend it will dep uh, depend on your region uh, region like country so uh, but for mostly they give some credit for three months so which is more than enough to test your service um, using the highest plans um, very big plans but um, I will show you how to um, use it so if it is um, it fills uh, your needs you can try it for three months and then decide and um, you will be able to see the credit so signing up for Google Cloud Platform is pretty easy all you have to do is go to this website cloud.google.com uh, I will leave a link to it uh, okay I will just go back and show you how it will look okay let's go to cloud.google.com this is how it will look when you will go to this website so if you have not registered for this all you need is a gmail id and um, either you will see a registration option and it is pretty simple to register that just click on it and you will be able to register and once you have done that you will uh, go to the console so from here uh, once you reach the console what you have to do is create a new project um, you you have to just click here and then this the new project options as you can see here I have created various projects so um, because I have already created a test project so I'm not going to create a new one but um, well it's pretty simple it will just take uh, two three seconds to create the new project and once you have done that but uh, you will see a similar screen and um, what you have to do is go to the left top uh, this click on this three lines and um, then go to marketplace from here and then scroll down and um, in the blog section here you will you will see this find this option wordpress certified by bitnami and automatic now remember that it is important to note that you have to install the wordpress by bitnami because it is the easiest one to set up and um, has a lot of uh, features and that is required by wordpress so it, uh, i think this is the best service so make sure that it is by bitnami uh, alternatively what you can do is scroll up and you know, search here for wordpress by bitnami but uh, that will show you uh, various options available so um, you can see this the multi-site one and all uh, what we need is this one wordpress certified by bitnami and automatic uh, this is the company that makes WordPress CMS so just select it and then um, it will show you this option that uh, okay this the estimated cost and everything just um, you can see here what packages it will install so these are all the important packages required to run WordPress and um, Bitnami by default installs them so it makes it really easy to use um, so just click on launch here okay once you have done that um, you can edit the WordPress name here um, you can choose anything here it doesn't really matter much we'll just keep it on default and from here select a zone okay now if you want to try the free uh, you can either select which is closest to your visitors or if you want to take advantage of the free program only some zones um, so some zones are allowed in the free program so um, you will have to select that um, for now I will select this US West 1B 
okay and then um, select the smallest one so if you want to free but um, depending on your size requirements you can select but I will select this one because I just want to create a test site for tutorial so I do not really need much power and um, this much the lowest machine is um, this much is quite enough for hosting a WordPress blog um, and then select the boot disk okay and um, you can select either the standard or SSD one. SSD one would be a little more expensive than the standard one. So, um, but SSD makes things really fast. So I would suggest you to go with SSD disk. And um, 10 GB is quite enough for my requirements. So just leave it for default and allow both traffic and then click on deploy now it will take a few seconds and all you have to do is relax and let the process complete and now um, uh, bitnami will install all the required plugins uh, all the required everything what is required for wordpress okay your database http uh, server and everything so this will take a few seconds and um, I hope you have been able to follow the tutorial till here and um, I, I try my best to not uh, create uh, you know, I try my best to create easy tutorials that uh, that can be followed step by step without adding any kind of junk so please consider liking the video if you found it useful and um, leave a comment your feedback if you like that not or what i should do to make um, Im improve my videos so um, this process will take a few more seconds um, you can see here this uh, now once this process is complete um, it will assign us a ip address and it will show you the username and password required for login and pretty much that will be it and um, after that we will uh, assign a static IP and then um, uh, configure the name servers for it so that your domain will point to WordPress hosted on Google Cloud and this will be a uh, installation from scratch so um, if you already have a website so what you have to do is migrate it simply you can watch my other tutorials for that so it's done now and um, you can see here this ip address um, let's click it and see okay yes let's see yes you can see here our wordpress um, is installed and you can we can access this pay, uh, wordpress website on this ip and this is the word admin uh, area so you can to log in you will have to use this credentials uh, user and uh, password so that's pretty much um, okay whoops okay it is not allowing me to log in right now okay first let's assign it a static ip and then we will try to log in later um, okay now what you have to do is again click on this three line options and um, scroll down go to the networking uh, options from here select v, uh, vpc network and from here select external ip addresses and here you can see here uh, just click on this type um, drop down menu and make it static so that this um, okay static for test site okay okay there should not be any space i guess okay then click on reserve it so now um what will happen is this static uh when I, this ip address will be assigned to our website only and it will not change so that's um here you can see this network tier and everything um this is the premium one so what happens is there's a different network tier standard and premium the difference is uh for premium the routing will is much better than the standard one so um in simple terms it makes your website a little bit faster for everyone 
um, so that's pretty much it and um, now what you have to do is again click on this so we have assigned a static IP to our website and um, we have installed WordPress and now what's left is to uh, point our domain to our website okay so now let's again go back to the main menu here and scroll down go to the networking tab from uh, network network services um, go to cloud DNS and from here click on create zone and um, zone name uh, make sure it is public so that it can be accessed from the public web and um, let's say test demo.com okay and um, whatever your domain name is okay um, let's edit it and then click on create and once it is done what you have to do is click on add record set and here just keep it default and um, let's copy and paste this website uh, ip address here and just just uh, make sure it is just the ip address and so what will do it will do is um, it will make the uh, main record that this website points to this IP address and make sure the type is a and click on create and then I add another record and now let's add the www dot version of a website so select now C name here and um, then put here your main domain name testdemo.com okay whatever your domain name is then click on create and um, that's pretty much it okay now what you have to do is um, just copy paste this um, DNS servers of Google um, for, so I have two domain um, registrars that uh, I have account with so I can show you um, and these are uh, these two are the main so I have one with um, GoDaddy <coughs> sorry and another with um, Namecheap so I will show you the process of um, both registrar so for Namecheap let's start with uh, what you have to do is just log into your Namecheap uh, account and uh, whatever your website is um, select it and um, let's click on manage from here um, you will, uh, okay it does currently have set it to Namecheap basic DNS what you have to do is select custom DNS and put to paste your uh, this um, name servers here copy paste all this similarly paste all this here and um, then click on add name server add name server and add the rest to also so once you have done this select this option tick but I will not do it right now because anyway this the updating name servers will take like a few hours usually it is like 24 hours so but um, so there's no point in doing that right now because we will not be able to um, uh, cover this in the video so and for GoDaddy go to GoDaddy and uh, from control panel okay let's go to my products here think oh uh, yeah go to my products that's the easiest way and from here um, select make sure the domain is correct and go to DNS here then what you have to do is just scroll down and um, on the bottom of the page you will see this option uh, name servers and similarly just click on change enter my own name servers advanced and then put your name copy paste your name servers from here and um, that's it you, will, you can see if you want to add more than two the uh, here is the add name server option so that's pretty much it and once you save it you will uh, after 24 hours you will be able to um, access your website over your domain name so that's pretty much it and um, that's pretty simple I hope you will um, you found it useful and that's how easy it is to install WordPress on Google Cloud
okay now the okay so we have completed the basic steps and um, it's almost done and the only thing left is installing a SSL certificate so I will leave its link in the description because uh, right now I cannot create it because the domain is not pointing to the server so um, I will uh, it will take some time for that to happen and um, another thing is um, you would want to remove this logo and uh, if you can, actually it will take uh, uh, if you need any help then then you can follow the documentation here but that's about it that's um, we have successfully installed wordpress and um, to log in here what you have to do is go to login and use the password okay let's um, i'll show you how to get it um, and to access your website over SSH, what you have to do is scroll, go here, Compute Engine, then VM Instances, and I'm showing you this because um, you will need this to install SSL certificate. So, um, but uh, or either I will make a part two of this video, or if I have not, if I forget for some reason, please post in the comments, and I will direct you to the correct links. So that's pretty much it and um, if you go here um, it will you can see here the username and password it should be here yes you can see here this is the bitnami username and password so let's try logging in okay you can see here after assigning the static ip we are able to log into the wordpress dashboard so the process is complete and um, please leave a like and leave your feedback and i will see you in the next video